from the electronic waste. So this is a large scale study. Uh, we will deal with absorption of cerium and cerium three ions on the graphene oxide and the characterization of the resulting composites using uh, infrared spectroscopy, x ray diffraction, mm -hmm. and uh, x ray absorption spectroscopy. Uh, this is the, the group we are working Okay. <clears throat> okay, the electronic uh, waste contains a lot of so called strategic materials such as uh, transition metals, such as cobalt, nickel, copper, as well as radars, for example, cerium, cerium, aluminium, etc. Uh, so, uh, this is the, the current uh, state of the art. I mean, there is a lot of uh, electronic waste generated, and the trend is to increase uh, the generated waste. But uh, the current uh, recycle of this waste is very low. And to, to uh, go to the circular economy, we need to increase the rate of uh, recovery, of recycling of uh, economic waste. Uh, so this is a first approach. There are many approaches to recover these uh, electronic wastes, <coughs> such as hydrometallurgic or thermometallurgic uh, strategies. But we are trying to use graphene oxide as an absorbent uh, component, absorbent material, because it contains a lot of uh, oxygen moieties, such as carboxyl, uh, carbon and hydroxyl moieties, that make uh, the um, graphene oxide aerophilic, so it can be dispersed in the leachates from the electronic waste. Uh, it has a very large surface area, and it has a, a very, it can has a, have a very high loading capacity of several uh, metals or several uh, radars, for example. Uh, it can be modified, for example, with oxides, metal oxides like uh, hematite or zinc oxide that is there uh, for to increase the absorption capability of the graphene oxide. <coughs> this is an example from the literature where graphene oxide absorbs a lot of gold ions uh, at a good rate. And this is our, our result, absorption of uh, cerium oxide in graphene oxide, cerium graphene oxide. So I will talk about the materials and methods, the results of FTR analysis, F-ray diffraction, and absorption uh, analysis tests, and X-ray absorption spectroscopy. <coughs> so okay, we prepare a serum a serum three uh, solution. Why serum three? Because serum three uh, is soluble in water. Is uh, with respect to serum four, we we tried uh, dilutions from 40, uh, 50 um, parts per million to uh, 1,000 parts per million. And we add some graphene oxide, 70 grams. We test the pH at pH 2 and pH 6 uh, to cause the speciation diagram of cerium in water. And we do a one hour contact and then we, we recover uh, the composites. Uh, the idea here is not to purify the radars as many, as many works do, but we try to use the composites as they are uh, for applications such as um, supercapacitors or hydrogen evolution. Uh, okay, and so we have the characterization by the FTR, XL fluorescence, X-ray diffraction, and exchange in the Berkeley uh, single protein. <coughs> okay, in the FTR, uh, graphene oxide uh, seems to absorb the cerium. Uh, it is it's getting reduced because we, we can see here the formation of methyl methylene moieties, so that those indicate that the graphene uh, line is breaking the double bonds, and also that cerium is absorbing, getting absorbed preferentially <coughs> in the carbonyl and carboxyl moieties. Uh, by X-ray diffraction, we still observe uh, the diffraction peak related with graphene oxide, but we can observe here that the peak is, is uh, moving towards higher uh, angle diffraction angles that it indicates that the uh, uh, graphene oxide layers are getting more separated as cerium oxide form that appears here is getting intercalated between uh, the layers. So we see here that the increase of the, of the interlayer distance. <coughs> this is absorption analysis uh, tried with different uh, concentration of cerium 3 in, uh, in the solution, and this is the removal percentage. So we can see that depending on the pH, we, are, we reach. And the saturation at different uh, a different concentration, for example, here in the case of pH two and in the case of pH six, we have an increase. Um, oh. okay. We have a, a different uh, saturation conditions. Um, the, um, in the case we did, we tried to do uh, the Freudich uh, fitting of these uh, of these two isotherms. And uh, the isotherms show uh, an irreversible formation of cerium oxide 2, as we saw in the X-ray diffraction tests. 
Okay, in the case of X-ray absorption analysis, uh, we see, we, we test uh, three absorption edges, the carbon edge, the oxygen edge, and the cerium edge. And we see interesting changes. Uh, we have uh, a reduction in the intensity of the white line of carbon that is related with the carbon uh, transition from the S, S, um, S level to the P, P plus level that is related with a reduction of, of the um, unoccupied space. <coughs> and also it is related with the opening of the double bonds with the absorption of cerium. Uh, we have also a change here in this, in this solar orbitals. Uh, and in the case of oxygen also we have the reduction of the unoccupied space that indicates the preferential absorption of cerium in the oxygen moieties of the car of the graphene, of graphene oxide. And in the case of cerium we have preferentially, we don't, we don't see a lot of change in the, in the position and the, and the shape of the absorption of the uh, peaks, uh, possibly because the resolution of this uh, X-ray absorption line is not very high, so we cannot see uh, differentiation of cerium-3 and cerium-4 peaks that are very close here. But we are, uh, this is only the, the results of uh, pH2. Uh, the, the effects of pH 6 is are on their, uh, on their way. We, we will have a, a beam time in the next uh, month, so we will present these results later. <coughs> and also about conclusions. Okay, we try to study the, the composites uh, because we are interested uh, to reuse the cerium in the graphene oxide composites, probably for supercapacitor or uh, hydrogen evolution um, applications to revalorize uh, the strategic elements in spent electronics. In this case, uh, the spent electronics were uh, um, nickel metal hydride batteries. And the results show that carbon and cerium get a bond, and also with oxygen, uh, because cerium bonds onto the sheet plane, intercalating between the sheet planes of graphene oxide, and also they are attached to the oxygen moieties <coughs> in the graphene layer. Uh, we have a higher absorption in cerium at pH 3, with a good promotion of 50% uh, in the solution, and uh, the speciation also depends on the, on the pH of the solution. So it is, uh, this work will demonstrate the possibility and feasibility of obtaining a cerium uh, graphene oxide composite that could be used uh, for further applications. And thank you very much.